the Fox size 9 size 2024 market daily buys four hour look bearish when our looks bullish so now we'll go back to four hour well the most recent liquidity swap that happened it was the downside gonna go to the upside the next round liquidity is over here then we could look for a downside moving from here we either go here because the news will possibly affect the whole thing see how there's so much liquidity buy side liquidity the news possibly affect the whole thing so these will probably go down but and we are still sales so we're looking for 15 minute market trade to the downside need to go to the sell side which we could aim for this place as well because this happened before market open so you could definitely go there. We could definitely go to these two spots. Uh huh. This right here is still on the list, but no more. So what we could do is now go to thirty minute. Mark out the recent sessions. That session just opened, right? So there's the new session right here that opened. The last session that opened was where? At three, and the other one's at twenty. Okay, so with the London, uh, what the Asian lows and Asian highs, Asian lows are right here. Asian highs are all the way up here. So this right here is a strong spot to go to. So, and London started right here. London lows are right here. Another, what the hell just happened? The London lows are right here. Just make that straight. London lows are right here. London highs are right here. Well, we don't really care about that because it's not that strong. We care about this because this is strong. This position is strong to go below. So this is probably to be what I'll take, probably take out. And for this, Boom, 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 boom. This is a weak spot, so this should definitely get swept and go up here and go back down. Then we're looking for 15 minutes uh, sweep of liquidity to go to the downside. We got any, let's see if we got any auto block, any breaker block, any such of that. We have none of that. Okay. Now let's go to DXY. DXY 4 hour looks bullish, 1 hour looks bullish as well. Okay, so this is a good day. So we just need a 15 minute market to the downside. So we are still bearish on DXY, I mean on gold. So what we could do is we want sell side movement to get swept because of the news. We'll possibly sweep out these lows and go back up. Our target are going to be still the same place as last time. This last side of the Uh huh. You could possibly sweep up these low, touch this fair value gap over here. As you can see, <clears throat> for a gap, we could possibly touch this whole accumulation area. Where was it? Boom. This whole like sell side move, that whole move down side was a whole accumulation area from right here to right here. Uh -huh, this whole thing was a link, so we could possibly just touch it and go back up. Go to 30 minute, we got anything 30 minute, we got really nothing. So what do you want for gold? What I'm aiming for gold for today. Since you took the recent drawn liquidity token from the sell side, was it which was a four hour sweep? The next sweep I feel I feel like should be here or here or here. It should be these sweeps because they're so close to each other. Then after that, I'll go back to the same load because this happened before the market opened. Yeah. For gold from DXY, just touch this low. Probably to touch the right from the news. I bet you they still rank up to this highs. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. When this one goes up, go goes down. And there's my five stars, nine stars, 2024 market daily bias. Thank you for watching.